For more than 60 years, it has been the most successful conference in all of college hockey. The Western Collegiate Hockey Association was established back in 1951 and since has produced 37 national champions. The Final Five 2013 mark the end of an era for the WCHA. Well, you know, definitely a little bit of a bittersweet thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it's taken us a long time to get here. Uh, some people think maybe it kind of happened overnight, but uh, this has been a long haul. After six plus decades, the conference will realign drastically for the 2013-2014 season. I had a pretty good group of goaltenders at Wisconsin. The tournament paid tribute to its wonderful past by bringing together some of the top coaches in the history of college hockey. You know, we've got a great history of great players, you know, and, and outstanding coaches and great teams and national championships. It's one of the great tournaments in the country and certainly uh, one that uh, goes down as uh, a great fan favorite for anybody that loves the college hockey. Ceremonial puck drops honored these legends, both at Friday night semi final and Saturday night's championship game. Just over the years, the tradition of the WCHA has been one of excellence, not only academically, uh, but on the ice. I'm a traditionalist, and it's hard for me personally to see this league go by the by. I mean, I had a real hard time putting my arms around the whole concept, but I understand what the changing landscape of collegiate athletics today, nationwide, there is a lot of movement. Programs, who needs a program? Get your programs. <laughs> Go, Huskies! Go, Fighting Sue! The three day tournament was met with expected fanfare. All six schools had hopes of capturing the historic Broadmoor Trophy, and everyone was optimistic. Oh, exciting uh, for us uh, at MSU, uh, first time at the Final Five in 10 years. Um, we're going for Colorado College. Because this is the greatest hockey tournament around. For St. Cloud, it's going to be, we got to play our game. Uh, we're going we're gonna to kill. Well, we're hoping for a win. Actually, we're not hoping, we're going to get a win. We know we're going to win. Gonna win. Go Gophers. We love the Final Five. This is the best tournament in the world. Oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Deep under the XL Energy Center, the teams prepare for battle. Anxious anticipation, the hardest part. Emotion and energy being contained to soon be released on the ice. There is no better venue for this event than St. Paul, Minnesota and its XL Energy Center. The home of Herb Brooks is the capital of the state of hockey and has played host to the last 12 WCHA Final Fives, averaging over 13,000 fans per game. There, there's a whole lot of credit that has to go to the state of Minnesota and particularly the Twin Cities area. These, uh, these fans here, uh, uh, and I should know better to tell you the truth, but I keep getting surprised by them. Uh, I tell you, there's absolutely no question that these are the best hockey fans and collegiate hockey fans in the country. For six plus decades, the Western Collegiate Hockey Association has given America the best in college hockey. 2013 was no exception, and with this being the last waltz of the current league, the competition was electric. Since it was the tourney swan song in its current state, reactions by the fans and this huge paradigm shift in college hockey 
have been mixed. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to going into the Big Six next year. I kind of enjoyed the WCHA. We do lose a little bit of our rivalries, but, you know, I think in time we'll see, uh, we'll, we'll be playing those guys again. Probably about 60 years of rivalry now, all going away um, in the name of greed. So I'm, I'm very unhappy about the changes that are coming up. The Wisconsin Badgers overcame a slow start to the season and rose from the ashes late in the year. At the Final Five, they played their best hockey and won three straight to capture the Broadmoor Trophy in this historic finale. I mean, it's, it's surreal right now. I mean, it's not gonna sink in for a little while. I mean, we've been battling for our lives for so long. I mean, since November with our, you know, just, you know, not so hot start. So, I mean, we've been playing for each other for so long. I mean, to have something pay off, it's, it's a great feeling. Uh, you know, we expected this though, cause we got our, we got our guys back and uh, we played our butts off. So we're all really happy right now. Well, it's very special, the fact that this is the last time that this trophy will be played for in this format with these teams. So. Um, it's very special. I think we'll, we'll honor that. It'll be something that we'll put on our mantle back at uh, Wisco and, and we'll hold in high esteem. The future remains bright for college hockey. Going forward, the current WCHA will be broken into three parts. The Big Ten Conference, a newly formed league, the National Collegiate Hockey Conference, and the new WCHA, consisting of four original teams and six new teams. For the college hockey purists, this change will be at first tough to swallow. But eventually, the new will be the accepting, and the college game will be stronger than ever. Uh, we're looking forward to kind of, it, it's a new era, it's a little different deal for us, and we'll go to work and build this one too. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. Photography for a lifetime.